Five. Yeah. Yeah. This So that's how many differences? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the size is different and the shape is different. Well, let me get these. <laughs> um, now, right now, just because of the things that we have here, um, obviously um, there's all sorts of different shapes in this collection, but with the kindergartners, you would be creating your own. Um, so you can determine what you want to use. Um, most likely circle, square, um, triangle, um, and rhombus would be your typical shapes. Um, so you can create your own set. Okay, so did everyone take a minute to do the activity practice? Anybody want to get, anybody want to um, volunteer to give us one example of how you... Um, did the activity? See if we can it, but we can't move it from there at the moment. Okay. So we're tell you when we start. start. Okay. We start out with um, this um, orange um, uh, square. Good. And then we had to have two differences. So we chose this green square, but we said that the thickness was a difference. Oh, um, good. Okay. Which yeah. we probably couldn't do, which but, is, but we that size though. We but we don't have right. I mean, we have limited, um, uh, I mean, we have more shapes over here if you wanted to use those too, but um, pretty much it's just to get an idea. Um, usually, you would have complete control over, um, so you would decide whether or not you wanted to make thickness a factor, um, but when you create these on your own, um, it would just be um, size, shape, and color. Mm -hmm. But again, if you're trying to differentiate the lesson, um, you can use more um, shapes, uh, different kinds of shapes, um, and more characteristics mm -hmm. like that. And did you want to give us your one other, maybe one more example? Mm -hmm. Right, and you went from the green square to? This red trapezoid. Good, so what was the difference? Um, the shape and the color. Good. And then we moved, then we added one difference, so then we just changed the shape and kept the color the same. Good. Okay, so this is like a way, so like how we showed you, you could start with the beginning one with the trains, I think the number was two, so the first worksheet that we gave you, it just has the one difference, and then slowly you can move, progress to harder um, worksheets where you have different, uh, different kind of differences, where you have one difference, or you have two, or you have three, so it's easy to differentiate and move from one to the other, based upon how your students are doing with the activity. And this is great for um, building vocabulary, uh, for describing characteristics, and for beginning to identify similarities and differences. Okay, let's move on. We yep. Okay. I'm um, sorry. So we have um, now the Venn diagram um, activity. So yeah, that is, we're not going to do. Yeah, yeah, we're not going to do it. We'll just show okay. explain it. Okay. Um, so if we start here with a um, our typical Venn diagram, um, you can pretty much do a lot of different things with Venn diagrams. Um, at this point, of course, they don't actually know. Um, that it's uh, called a Venn diagram and what the purpose is exactly, um, but just by explaining, um, you'll actually find that they'll be able to pick out what goes in the middle without having to tell them um, whatever is the same in this circle and this circle goes in the middle. Um, so for example, if I said um, everything in this circle is blue um, and everything in this circle is a triangle, um, eventually they're going to see that blue triangle, maybe try to put it here, try to put it here. With your questioning, um, they'll get to the point where they figure out that this is where the two circles overlap, and this is where you would put the blue triangle. You want to go with that? Okay. Um, then you can start to do three. So um, everything in here is green, everything in here is large, and everything is in here is a square. So again, you're using the characteristics, um, and they can identify where it goes. They're practicing classifying the shapes. 
Um, for okay. extensions, for let's, old... Let's go to the assessment and okay. move on, yeah. Sheets um, for more advanced students, please let us know. We'll be happy to help you. 